Dear students, today we are going to learn about calculation of moment of inertia of an annular ring. With an annular ring in the moment of inertia, we will calculate the moment of Annual ring is the ring with an two different uh, radius. But it is not the same shape. Donut is the shape. Imagine it. But it is thin. So we have two radius. So the outer radius and the another inner radius. So let the mass of the ring be m. And outer radius be R2 and inner radius be R1. So, what will be the mass per unit area of this ring? Mass per unit area nor This will be total mass divided by total area. Total area is the ring outer radius under. So outer radius is the pi r square value, pi r2 square value, minus pi r1 square value. So pi into r2 square minus R1 square area, mass per unit area of this ring. Here, we are going to consider the axis. This is the moment of inertia about an axis passing through the center and perpendicular to its plane. That is the E is a is a E is a is a dash axis. That is, it passes through the center of the uh, disc uh, ring and also which is perpendicular to the plane of the disc. The axis consider your angle. Okay, moment definition. First of all, uh, moment definition is the ring. So we can imagine this as a concentric, uh, it's a combination of many concentric, concentric rings of different radius. So, in the answer, yeah, this is a concentric ring. In the, uh, the combination is full, uh, full ring. In the this is one particular ring. So, now we are going to particular ring, which is at a distance r, small r, and the distance lana. This is a particular individual ring, and which has a thickness dr. So, we are going to infinite number of concentric rings in the combination of this full ring. We consider it. So, this is a particular element. Math will be done. This is a particular r dr element. Math will be done. What will be the uh, moment of inertia of this particular element? It will be mass of this uh, into r square. Right? What is the mass of this? Mass per unit area is m by pi r2 square minus r1 square, right? which is defined as sigma. So, what will be the mass of this thing? It will be area of this ring, right? area of this particular ring into mass per unit area. This ring is the mass. That is, area of the ring is the 2 pi r into dr. Still, total area of this particular ring, that is into sigma, mass of this ring, that will be 2 pi, 2 pi sigma r dr. So, what will be the moment of inertia of this particular element? I is equal to m r square, right? so they into r square, right? 2 pi sigma r dr into r square, right? this will be. 2 pi r cube sigma dr. This is a particular ring element. So, what will be the total moment of inertia? R2 and the radius under, R1 and the radius under. So, from R1 to R2 radius, this is very under. So, for total moment of inertia along is the axis. We have to integrate this from R1 to R2. 2 pi r cube sigma dr. Like integral of the r cube on integral of the r cube integral of the l will be r raised to 4 by 4 volume. So this will be 2 pi sigma r raised to r raised to 4 by 4 integrate the from r1 to r2 volume. So this will be. 2 pi sigma into r2 raised to 4 minus r1 raised to 4 divided by divided by 4 value. Is sigma equal to substitution? Right? Sigma the original value is sigma the value is m by pi r2 minus r2 square minus r1 square. So, r2 raised to 4 minus r1 raised to 4 negative. 
R2 minus R2 square minus R1 square into R2 square plus R1 square area. So this whole equation becomes 2 pi into divided by pi into R2 square minus R1 square into numerator in the R2 square minus R1 square into R2 square plus R1 square value. All divided by 4. And then we can slip on. We can slip on. The final result is i is the d is equal to 2, 4 in the answer 1 by 2. So half m r1 square plus r2 square. So this is the moment of inertia of an annual annular ring about an axis which is perpendicular to the axis of this plane of this ring and which passes through the center of this ring. You now calculate into the for, for an annular axis which is about the diameter. About the diameter norm in the axis on x axis x dash axis about the diameter on y y dash axis about the diameter on so it will be i x comma iy so, symmetry of one angle ix i being same diagram so we write ix is equal to iy is equal to id in the other and angle okay id in the other any number of perpendicular axis theorem apply on angle what will be is equal to ix plus iy according to perpendicular axis theorem so which is ix is equal to iy is equal to id this will be 2id lengthil id is equal to i is that divided by 2 varium or else now get here result apply that id is equal to 1 by 4 m into r1 square plus r2 square area. so this is the result for the calculation of moment of inertia of an annular ring about a diameter.